Hola, everybody. Hey, it's almost Cinco de Mayo. Can you tell? I'm getting ready. So today's recipe, we're making a Mexican shredded chicken in a crock pot. It's super easy to do, it's super delicious, and extremely versatile. You can use it for tacos, which is what we're gonna do today, or you can use it in enchiladas by making my enchilada sauce. I have a, I'll put a link for you in the description. You could use it in quesadillas, delicious, and nachos. So, so versatile, guys, you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, guys, let's go over our ingredients. All right, I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. I like to use chicken thighs as opposed to chicken breast. It's just more tender, juicy, and it doesn't dry out. I've got my taco seasoning here. I highly recommend you try that. I'll leave a link in the description for you. You can control the salt and any of the seasonings if you prefer. I got some minced fresh garlic. Even though my taco seasoning has some garlic powder in it, I like to add a little extra garlic because I love that garlic. All right, we'll need some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Use as much as this as you like it hot, guys. So uh, I just use a little bit, but I love that smoky flavor. I have some fresh cilantro and parsley that I'm gonna use both of there. Here we have some very finely diced onion, yellow onion here. I have some chicken broth a pasillo pepper, which we're gonna roast and char up on the stove, I'll show you that in a minute, and some lime. So the only thing we have to prepare for this is to char up our pasillo pepper. So what you wanna do is just turn on your stove, medium high heat, and place your pepper directly over the flame. Use some tongs so that you don't burn yourself, and you're just gonna let that pepper blacken. And you're just gonna rotate it over and over until the whole thing is completely black. Then once it's all black, then you're gonna just place it into a bowl, cover it with some saran wrap, and let it sit for about 10 minutes. While our pepper is steaming, we can go ahead and load up our crock pot. So I'm gonna start off with the onions. I'm gonna to toss those in the bottom. Next go the chicken. Now to the chicken broth, I'm gonna add my taco seasoning to it so that it can really get mixed in and then it'll really blend in really well. And then we're gonna pour that right over the chicken. In goes the minced garlic, the chipotle with the dobo sauce. I'm just gonna drop that in. And I'm gonna chop up a little bit of that cilantro and parsley to toss in. And I'm gonna squeeze in the juice of one lime. The last thing we have to do is take our pepper and just peel off the outer coating here. So it just rubs right off. And you don't wanna rinse this under some water because you'll just rinse all the good flavor right out of it then you can just chop it up and place it into your crock pot. Now, I like to take a spoon and you know stir everything up so that everything gets mixed in. Now, I'm just letting this cook on high for four, four and a half hours, you know, longer the better, right? Or you could cook it on low for eight hours. All right, guys, I want you to have a look at our chicken. Like I said, it's been about four and a half hours looks delicious, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna shred it up right here in the pot, pick up the pieces, they just fall apart, guys. It's so tender. All right, guys, I'm ready to put our tacos together. Our chicken looks fantastic. I have my condiments out. I'm using today avocado, sour cream, some pico de gallo, and some cheddar cheese. So let's do this. Now I've got my tortilla oven here. You know, if you've seen my videos, you know how much I really like these things. They work so good. All right, so I got a little flour tortilla here and I'm gonna add my chicken. I'm gonna lay some, let's do that pico de gallo. A little sprinkle of that on top. A slice of avocado. Sprinkle the cheese. And we'll finish it off with a little drizzle of sour cream. And there you have it, guys. This is a, like I said, a very versatile recipe. You can use it for tacos, 
enchiladas, you know, nachos, quesadillas, you name it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I really enjoyed making this for you. And if you know anybody who might enjoy a good Cinco de Mayo recipe, please share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button right up there and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody.